Hey guys, it's Dr. Robinson again. Uh, for this video I wanted to show you guys a little bit more about member management and I figured the best way to do that would be to show you guys what our actual clan looks like and how it's working. So uh, we're going to jump right in here. So right now we've got a war going on against Chinese words. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, important things to know, in the top left, Dr. Robinson, that's my, my handle here, and Real Dedicated is my clan, and that's what you guys are going to see in most of yours. You can see that there's certain roles assigned, members, editors, and admin. You can read what they are here, but basically what you need to know is that a member does not have the ability to do anything other than kind of input their own data. Um, editors are the people that are going to go through and be responsible for adding wars, making sure all the information is correct. Uh, they will be the people that assign attacks for people that need them to be assigned to. They have a, a greater role, and in fact, I would encourage you to make most of your members um, most of your clan members editors if you trust them or if they're family or friends, you know, and only leave people at members if they're new to your clan uh, and you just kind of need to feel them out to see if they're if they're safe, so to speak. Um, and then an admin it should only be reserved for a few people because these people can delete wars, they can change the values of uh, what each star is worth, things like that. So they really have the power to go in and make some serious changes, which could uh, do some damage if you don't have the right people in there. So again, uh, most people should be editors or members and only a few people should be uh, admin. And so what you're looking at right now, it gives us the active member count. We have 25 active members and 23 of them are actually uh, bound. But what you guys are looking at is uh, what everybody's role is, um, whether or not they actually have their handle claimed. So Almighty Zach here, uh, he probably needs to log in for the first time so he can start calling his attacks. And we know he's a new member. And the days since login shows you how long. So Chris here hasn't logged in in 34 days, which is probably why he's no longer in any of our wars. And then someone like Mick and Mick all actually are, uh, it's the same person who has both of these accounts. So what he's doing is he's, he's an editor on Mick all, logging in and calling attacks for his other account. And I'll show you how you do that later on. Um, but what's important to note is that most of these players are still in the clan. Actually, all of these players are still in the clan, and they're still active. And anybody who's not active, if you look down here, has been archived. So you see how we now have these blue unarchive buttons. These are people that are no longer a part of the clan. They've left for some reason. Uh, what we've got here is the ability to unarchive people. And that's useful if somebody left the clan, you've archived them, they come back, uh, and you want to keep their, their historical stats. So uh, we can go down here, turn that back off. Um, and what you'll see another difference is, say I have a new clan member. I spoke about this uh, in one of the other videos, and I'll touch on it again. Undock's going to get put on the list, and he's actually got the option to be deleted instead of archived. And the reason for this is there's no data attached to him. Uh, if he had been in any wars, we would archive him so we can keep that information, um, as opposed to deleting him because there's nothing attached there. We don't need to keep anything, so we can get rid of him. This is useful if you put in the wrong name or someone binds with a username that you're not expecting. You can delete the wrong one so they don't uh, clog up all your information here. Uh, but again, the point is that we want to make sure that uh, this is the active users and the people that you will be regularly pulling uh, from to create a war. So anybody who's archived cannot be a participant in a war um, and you actually can't add them for a previous war so you're going to want to unarchive them for that. So if you need to update the rules you can go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to take this moment to see if anybody needs to be an admin who is not. So so we're just going to make those this one an editor. But I don't know the Zach so I'm going to update the, the other ones. And that is member management for the most part. A great thing to read right here is this archive delete function. It kind of breaks down what I just told you. But effectively, it kicks people out of the clan. Um, and you're going to use that archive function for people that you no longer want to have access to the things you're doing. So on to the next one.